when you are sensitive to the way you feel are you aware of your vibrational content namaste everyone my name is vasundha talwari and welcome to the day 10 of your 22 days challenge of raising your vibrations with me and today we are going to learn about how are we feeling this moment we are pulled apart by what we want and how that makes us feel and what we don't want and how that makes us feel but are we aware of what this is making us feel like right are we aware of it it's about something you desire and an absence of what you desire the question here is are you aware of how you feeling when you have something that you desire if you don't understand that these two are two very different vibrational frequencies then you may believe that you're focusing on something that you may desire but in reality you are not focusing on this but you're focusing on what you don't want in your life that is you're focusing on the exact opposite of what you do want in your life how sad is that some believe that they focused on a healthy body when in fact they're focusing on the fear of having not so healthy body or a sick body some believe that they're focusing on increasing improving their financial situation when in fact they're focusing on not having enough money but because the subjects here are health and money most people think that when they are thinking of these two things they are focusing on it right and making it happen when in fact they are focusing on the lack of it that this is not there and this is not there what frequency what vibration are you creating when you are focusing on this not being enough and that not being there in place you are actually focusing on the lack of it and when you are tuning into the lack of these things in your life you're inviting more lack into your life take for example any person you may have come across in your life and the person may have at least once said that oh i have been trying to make this happen i've been working on this for so long but nothing has happened what do i do it's because that person has not been working on making it happen rather focusing on the lack of it the why is it not happening and therefore tuning into the lack of it and therefore only when you are sensitive to your feelings will you ever know what your vibrational content is how are you feeling when somebody is talking about money how do you feel you feel fear you feel your heart palpitate Do you feel anxious? Do you feel jealous? Do you feel insecure? No, that the money aspect in your life is getting you to focus on the lack of it. You're not focusing where you should be to bring more of it in your life. Similarly, when you're speaking of health, when health comes to your mind, do you feel ah, I am fit. I'm on top of it. I feel so good. I am fit. or do you feel worried again anxious fearful scared what's going to happen i'm not doing enough or i'm not being enough my health is taking a toll and it's only going down from here forth i have no self control i have no discipline i cannot do what i set my eyes on and the list just goes on so what are you focusing on you want good health but you're focusing on the lack of it the exact opposite of what you want and so we are here playing this game called which thought feels better it will consciously help you identify what frequency is your current thought on and this game is played best when you are alone so that you are not distracted you are not swayed by external energies but you just know exactly how you are feeling because that is important 
it is extremely important to leave aside others thoughts opinions beliefs advices aside and know for sure what you feel about that subject this game can best be played when you have something that's bothering you and you're feeling some negative emotion in your space and understanding that this negative emotion is the only thing that's holding you back it's holding you away from all the amazing things you want in your life the moment you address this emotion the negative emotion that pulls you down you will be on fire so let's begin take a pen and paper go grab it right now put the video on pause come back and join me from here on write down the one thing that's bothering you and how are you feeling about that subject right now speak about your feeling write down your feelings about maybe health maybe financial status maybe some relationship that's bothering you speak about how you feeling about it The next step is to amplify how you feel about that subject. This will help you recognize any improvement in your thought process as you proceed. An example that's quoted in the book that I spoke about written by Esther and Zeri Hicks called Ask and it is given is about a daughter and the mother says she doesn't care about me at all. right that's her problem statement number 1 then she magnifies it and says she is trying to make my life so difficult right it's magnified does it make her feel better no another negative statement that can be added to this is she doesn't even do her share of work a third statement that's added which doesn't make you feel better in fact takes the frequency further down Once you've made some statements about how you're feeling about your subject right now, you're going to then ask yourselves, what statements can I make that will allow me to feel better right now about the subject? So you may start writing, she never listens to me. Does that make you feel better than the first three statements you've just made? not really it's the same she never listens to me same thing i want her to be more responsible doesn't make me feel better not really same thing same frequency not better i shouldn't have to clean after her she should take that responsibility same frequency nothing better i should have taught her better Like now I'm blaming myself and making myself feel worse instead of blaming her taking it all upon me. I wish her father had supported me worse. There's one more person added to the whole blame game now. So nothing better. A clean house is important to me. Nobody to blame here. I'm just stating a statement of what's important to me. So slightly better higher frequency. I know she has a lot on her mind much better yeah so now offering sympathy understanding i remember what it's like to be a teenager i've been there hmm better frequency i remember when she was the sweet little girl higher frequency much better i wish she was still that sweet little girl not happening <laughs> lower frequency something that you want to impose on somebody else is beyond your control you can't control anybody else but you what you can do is control your own feelings that's all so if you wish her to be a better person nah you coming down again well i don't have to figure all of it out today much better there are so many things i adore about her much better I know there is more to life than just a clean house. Again, looking up something better. Clean house is not the only thing. But it should be okay that I want a clean house, right? Again, going down, not raising your frequency. Instead of saying it should be okay, I say 
It's all right that I wish for my house to be spick and span. Much better. And it's fine that she doesn't care about it right now. Much better. Why should she care about your needs? Please remember, there is no right and wrong a statement in this case. You need to know which statement is making you feel better. Which statement is making you feel worse. You are your own judge. Which is why find a space where nobody is going to distract you, give you inputs. You need to be your own judge. And you might say, hey, what's the point of doing this exercise? Because my daughter is going to be the same, right? Nothing's going to change about her. She's going to be sloppy as ever. So what difference does it make? For me, by elevating the way I feel, raising my vibration, my frequency. The thing is, yes, the power of ontological space, that's the science of ontology, is that your vibe attracts what you want in your life. Humans change in your space. Habits change, personalities change, attitudes change. Merely by you changing your perception about that in your life. The moment you start feeling better, the moment you raise your vibrations, things just start magically falling in place. And for this, you need to try it out on your own. Giving that vibe out subtly to the other person, instead of blaming, pulling the other person down, complaining, making yourself feel bitter, the spiraling is going down, right? There is an endless pit. But in this case, when you raise your vibrations, the other people's space also gets transformed. Just wait and watch and do this for sure. Try this out and let me know in the comments below how has this impacted in whatever little manner, in a day's time, in a couple of days time, in a week's time. Just do this consistently and continuously change your negative emotion to a positive one. Consciously. Help yourself. Be that support to yourself that you seek from outside, please. There was a client of mine who had a very bad relationship with her brother and her sister-in-law. Constantly complaining, cribbing and pointing fingers at why that person has not done enough for her and how he's ignoring her and how their relationship is on fine threads. But when she gave up on that expectation, when she sent out good thoughts and raised her frequency with that topic, with the subject of brother and her sister-in-law, those people turned around, started contacting, communicating with her, started building relationship with her, and it's beautiful today. The moment her expectations pop up, the relationship goes sour. But the moment her vibration goes up, yeah, her feeling of lack is not there anymore. The relationship falls in place, just like that. It comes out in her attitude, in her demeanor, in her conversation with others around her, regarding them, be it her mother, father, other siblings, relatives. Her conversations, the subtle body language included conversations with them. And that just changes the space for the others to be with her with you so i hope you take this really 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 seriously and give it a shot with the bottom of your heart i know it works please share your comments uh, as i have asked you to and please please let me know how your experience has been it'll be a great treasure trove for me to go through it and uh, be happy about having made this video in the first place and if you have liked this video, please like it, share it with your loved ones and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell icon to know every time I post a new video on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I love you very, very much. Mwah.